What is something you think Gen Z is doing wrong? Interacting with people in real life. I get younger people tend to struggle communicating. But it seems worse with this generation as a whole. According to our teachers and our professors. Apparently speaking up. For example, a professor will be speaking too low but no one will say anything the entire semester so the professor doesn't find out until the course evaluations flame him her for a problem they didn't even know about. Oh well. I was older when I started college and having taken classes with 18, 19, 20 year olds. I've observed that they suck at socializing. They are so afraid to be embarrassed or awkward or afraid that they'll say something incorrect that they just seem prudish. And when they do talk, it's without filter. It causes a lot of tension. I think the rise of social media has made it harder for people to listen to others. Which I think is the root cause here. I've noticed some people rely on the masses of social media to tell them what to like. What's cringe? What's wrong right? ECT to the point where they don't know how or are afraid to form their own opinions. There's probably a fear of being wrong. But it's important to know why you stand for what you do. I think Gen Z needs to think more critically sometimes. Not even saying they always have wrong opinions. Just that I'm not sure they're actually committed to them or could explain why they feel that way. They simply cannot break dance like we could. Vaping. As someone barely over the cusp of the millennial side of the generational line. So many of my friends who never smoke cigarettes vape. I'm a former smoker and it breaks my heart knowing that they're actively setting their bodies up. For failure. Putting life into apps. Hyper consumerism. There is zero expectation of privacy. You can expect nearly every interaction you have to be posted online. You thought THR Patriot Act was invasive? Now every citizen is pointing a camera phone at each other 24 7. They don't know how to fold under the fourth lid of a cardboard box to hold the top closed. I've learned that my students will simply not Google to find answers to things they don't know. They'll accept being ignorant. They have the world's knowledge at the fingertips and they t use it. Thinking people have to obey their emotions. Inclusiveness progressiveness. I didn't think love each other or let people be themselves was something you could fuck up. But when closeted actors playing gay characters are being bullied off social media for not being gay enough in public, yeah. Getting their facts or information from TikTok and genuinely believing it's accurate. I am 19 so I am also Gen Z but whenever a friend of mine shows me a factual TikTok video I never actually believe any of the information. It just reminds me of that TikTok video a couple years ago that stated you can lick DMT off the base of your brain with your tongue and everyone around me genuinely believed you could do so. From what I've read not on TikTok because I don't use it it hasn't been proven that humans have naturally occurring DMT on our brains. Rats do. Humans do not. After watching Shark Tank everyone around behaves like entrepreneurs. N. Higley no real-time experience. Customer service. They're all just awful at any interactions with customers. Performative activism and being too busy fighting cyber-political wars or yelling in a vacuum to actually create change. Two things. One making 90s-style jeans popular again. They're flattering on exactly no one. Two incessantly mocking the millennial generation online while simultaneously appropriating the music and fashion from the 90s. Oh, when I was their age I didn't think about the generation before mine for a single second. What gives? I don't know why morons like Andrew Tate and other similar bros that give absolutely terrible advice are popular with so many of them. They claim to be anti-capitalistic and anti-corporate but it's all talk. 
Their entire lives take place in apps curated by the biggest companies in the world. They will celebrate when someone they know does something immoral for money in the name of getting the bag. They don't really care about the unfairness built into the system. They just want to be on the side that benefits. The popular hairstyles of the guys is a little wrong. Performative activism. Change doesn't happen by signing petitions and complaining on FB. Playing victim. No matter how bad it is, empowering yourself is better than giving up. They are too focused on identity. Stop defining yourselves so much. Just be Gen Z, just be. Not seeing the intricate nuances of an argument. They treat everything as black and white. With or against. Totally right or totally wrong. They seek out echo chambers online that mirror their own opinions back and use this as unequivocal proof that they are right. Intelligence lacking wisdom. They tend to have black and white extreme beliefs. Also, refusal to be around someone with different beliefs than them. Tenacity and critical thinking. Most seem to give up if what they're trying to do doesn't come easily. They also just don't seem to have much in the way of critical thinking skills. They can search for an answer, but don't seem to be able to understand why the answer is what it is. Or when things get a little gray, support their position effectively. And should you disagree with them, many take it as a personal attack. Being too caught up in tribalistic group mentalities and being too concerned about being understood and accepted. I don't understand their obsession with faking mental illness for clout. When I was a teenager, the weird kids identified each other by wearing foxtails to school, not by pretending to have a tick attack in class. Thinkage that your work should always be fun and challenging, and that your boss has to facilitate that. I don't mean that your work can't be fun or challenging. But you also have patience to learn and be okay with work you don't like as much. Making their minds, choices and positions with short subtitled videos on social media. They treat socializing with people more than three years younger or older as pervy. Pick up your phone. Call someone. I fucking dare you. Thinking they know absolutely everything because they grew up on the internet. Kids can't use the Dewey Decimal System to save their lives. I feel like millennials pushed against labels in the early 2000s. To the point where we just didn't like them at all. Now everything seems to need to be its own specific label. And don't you dare get it wrong or we'll come for you. TikTok Interpersonal skills. They've grown up emulating figments of the internet's imagination. They struggle with entitlement and indignation. They're an odd lot. Also, the crying selfies need to stop. Cold sweat smile. Videos are the wrong way to make a tutorial. Long text isn't bad. It's better because it can be searched to skip the crap and find the relevant section. Not having sense how the data they give away will be abused to control them. In early episodes they use sound and electricity to subdue soups. When they attack Sam in the puppet battle they use regular weapons. Shine. Believing they are doing nothing wrong. They're way too idealistic and have no grit. They aren't built for the world that exists. Confusing any form ohm criticism on anything for whatever phobia known to humankind. Getting offended by everything. Pretending to care about causes for social media points. Being so glued to their phone that they become socially awkward and don't talk to anyone. Abbreviating everything to the point where it doesn't make sense when they type or speak. Self-diagnosing themselves with mental health issues and using that as an excuse for shitty or anti. Social behavior. Not doing anything because of anxiety. I could keep this list going for days Gen Z is really the worst. Which one's Z again?